as soon as I was born, I think I was just made to play football. And I've got videos of myself three years old, kicking a football around. Yeah, I think my whole life was football. We were heading to Maple Durham playing field. It was a real part of who I am and why I play football and why I love it so much. It's been ages since I've been at this park. Yeah, when I first started playing, it was purely just with my brother in the front garden, annoying the neighbours a little bit. And then I went to join Cavisham Trents as my first local team. And then I joined a team called Cavisham AFC. And we played in a boys league, but we were a girls team. So that was, that was quite cool to be a part of that because the standard you turn up to the game. I think I was quite lucky with my childhood. Yeah, this is definitely home. So many amazing memories. It's really nice. I've played many football games here. Yeah, it's definitely a significant place for me. Pretty cool. It's nice that it's on this building because it's such a huge part of my childhood. I probably kicked the football against this wall multiple times when I missed a shot. Yeah, that's really nice. No, this is my first time seeing this. It's really special and something that I'm really, really proud of. And hopefully it inspires more young girls to come and play football and play football down here, which will be lovely. My England debut was probably one of the biggest shocks for me in my football career. I was called up to the senior team with these incredibly inspirational women. I was very shy, very nervous, and yeah, to score on my debut with my left foot as well was a bit of a shock as well. So I just haven't really looked back since then in terms of playing with England. And every time you put on the shirt, it's like the first time you did it. You know, you look at it when you walk into the changing room, you see your name on the back of the shirt, you see your number, and it's just like, wow. Winning the Euros was one of probably the biggest pivotal moments in women's football in this country. To win in front of a home crowd, in front of so many young girls watching on, wanting to play football like us and inspired by us, it was a real pinch me moment and a really proud moment for me to be a part of and to be able to have that memory in my head of when the final whistle went and you look around the stadium and there's everyone there cheering for you. It was, yeah, something that I will never forget. Obviously, it was a huge topic during the Euros with our letter to the government in terms of girls having access to playing football in schools. You know, if we're not pioneering for change, what are we actually doing to make the change happen? But yeah, I mean, obviously, we had a really good response from the government and hopefully we can start building on that and building more, more of a legacy rather than us just winning the Euros, actually making a change. The World Cup is just another moment for women's sport to excel. I never believed growing up that I would be able to be a professional footballer because it just wasn't a thing. Growing up having a dream but not seeing anyone live it, that was quite tough. But now being able to do it in a World Cup on the world stage, it's, it can leave a legacy and a mark all over. Do you know, if you can influence one young girl, then for me, it's worth it. It's really funny when people ask you, like, how does it feel to be a role model? Because I don't see myself as a role model. I'm just doing something that I've always done. I'm playing football like I did when I was three years old. Growing up, I always wanted to be the best player. I want people to say how hard I work, you know, that I pushed myself, but as I've got older, I've just realised I just want people to think, you know, what, what a good person. Someone that drove the standards, someone that was there for someone or reached out to someone when they were going through something. And that means probably more to me in terms of what I have achieved on the football pitch, because I think that's much more important than any other legacy that I could leave behind. Kia. Movement that inspires.